Hello everyone, Neil from Merge Informer here. Today I want to go over how to actually mask different layers in the Merge Informer designer. I'm going to show you how you can either put pictures behind layers or really add a different kind of distressed filter to what you already have designed inside. So as you see, I've just been playing around here. We will quickly remove these elements. If you come over to layers, you'll see there are no layers. So let's say that you just put one of these effects. This one's nice and large, and we will just keep it. Take away any effect it has, and we will make sure it's black. So we can see it nice and large here. Now, let me bring up on my computer here. I have a I have a folder that's full of transparent effects. I will show you. You can see here. We're going to be using this one right here. I'm going to show you how this works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to upload an image. I'm going to delete the images that are already in here. Simply drag and drop, and now it's in here. So to mask an image, you simply want to select whatever kind of image you're using. Now, if, if you're wondering what masking an image is, this is similar to when you see text that say like New York and the actual text itself, the background of the text is like a picture of New York. So that, that's essentially what we're doing here. So we can drag this nice and large like that, okay? And come up to the thing, the little bar here, and it's gonna say mask. Now there's a lot of other things, remove background, filters. You wanna select the little star that says mask. And it's going to say, you know, what layer do you want to mask? And we only put the layer of, uh, it says bridge. So we want to mask the text with this transparent background image that we just used. So we'll select that. It'll process it. And it will make it into this kind of grungy looking bridge thing. So if we go over here and we select different colors, the background is going to be visible in every single one of them. So it looks really, really good. Now, just to show you how this would work on an actual image like I was just talking about, let me remove this. We will add, add that text again, make it big, make sure it's black. All right, now let's get a picture of New York in here. All right, so I've downloaded a picture of New York. Now what I need to do is go to Images and drag and drop the picture in here. Select the image that you want. I simply bring it over the text like that. You wanna click mask, and you wanna mask the bridge layer. And just like that, let's change to black so you can see a little bit. The background of the actual text is the image that we just used. So this is super helpful for you know doing the skyline pictures. You can If you can find some transparent PNGs and you don't wanna use the effects down here for grunging things up, you can add them as well. That really gives it kind of a distressed layer to it. But what I really like the mask feature for is doing these. I mean, it doesn't have to say bridge, right? It can say anything besides bridge, but you'd need to go, let's just say, um, let's do this one. And we will actually make it say something. New York. Okay, let's make it smaller. Post it here. We will change it to black, back to white so you guys can see. And remember, we already uploaded this image, so we'll select the image, we'll put it right over the text, select the mask button, which is the star, select bridge, and then we can come back here and make it black or yellow or any color you want, and you will see that the skyline is behind it. Now you can play around with the actual image, make sure it looks good, but the mask feature is definitely going to be very useful for cranking out a lot of these designs very quickly. All right, so that is all for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to drop them in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.